I've talked to bands that have opened up for Danzig, and they say that that's a very hard crowd to open up for because they're waiting to hear Danzig. And here's a new band, here's <laughs> very, Caius. And I mean, how, how was it opening up for Danzig? Very diehard fans for like yeah. Danzig. They don't want to. I mean, see sometimes it, we'd walk out to chance at Danzig, but by the end, by the, the end, set, they were into it. So yeah. It does, cool. is, is that is that tough for you, or is it kind of an added incentive to just it's play a lot harder? That's it's exactly a, it's right. amusing. They won't win these guys over. Right. That's that's what it's all about, just giving it that much more. Okay, we'll be back and talk to you guys in just a little bit, and we're going to be playing their video for Green Machine when the Headbangers Ball continues, so stick around. In Oregon, so all you Oreg Oregonians. Oregonians? Oregonians? <laughs> you correct them, you tell them how you or people from Oregon like to be described. So you're playing with Faith now, uh, how, how's that going to go? Hopefully. Pretty excited about that? Hopefully, yeah. I mean, the idea is you've got the record out, the record is called Blues for the Red Sun, and obviously you saw the high praises from Nirvana, and right now you're going to go out on the road and just get everybody to get into the record, right? Try to, yeah, just stay out there. Now, the one thing that I don't think a lot of people know about Blues for the Red Sun, this is actually your second record, right? Actually, yeah. Because you had an independent one come out? Oh, that was on Wretch. I mean, that was on Dolly. That was on Dolly, same label we're on. And is that pretty hard to get now? I don't know. You think I've seen it around. Yeah. yeah. Now this record was produced by Chris Goss, who for those of you that don't know who Chris Goss is, was in Masters of Reality, which is a killer band. And uh, Masters of Reality, other than now having Ginger Baker in the band, have a lot of cream influenced stuff. I mean, sound and they're, they're really team. heavy. And uh, you guys kind of have a little bit of that feel. I mean, did you approach him after hearing Masters of Reality, or how, how did that whole fusion uh, how did come that about? Well, when we started playing uh, Hollywood, out there, uh, Goss was Goss was coming to the shows and became really good friends with the guy. And uh, just uh, he liked the music and we liked his music. And uh, on the whole, you know, we, you know, a year and a half down the road, we wanted him to produce the stuff. So we went in and we didn't have no, we didn't really have a, a translator. Yeah, he was like our translator in the studio. We didn't know how to get the sound that he, we wanted. There's a lot of like technical words, right? Or, or is that what you mean? Or well, no. It's, it's hard to put into... It, like, if you it make, is hard to put into words what you want to get on tape. Yeah. But he was like a mind reader. Yeah, he knew. Yeah, they, he knew exactly. like a lot of people might not when you say the word, make it chunkier. And they're like, what is chunky? Mean? Right, he knew exactly. Mean, make it grungier or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to play a video for Green Machine right now. And then we'll come back and talk to these guys, talk about the video and talk about what else is up with Caius. Here's their video. Got from the band Caius, and uh, tell us a little bit about making the video. You like was, making videos? Or? Yeah, it was fun. It was damn hot though. Yeah. Was, now you did that one in the desert, right? Yeah. You did it in a place called North India. It's the site of the very first generator party in Palm Springs. I'm not even um, sure what a generator party is, but well, we're, we're going to come back and rest on that. We'll come <laughs> okay. back and talk to you a little bit because right now what we're going to do is we're going to show you some dates for the Megadeth tour. Because if you didn't know, Headbangers Ball is presenting the Megadeth on tour with special guest Stone Temple Pilots. In the desert. desert, desert. So, now, how, so what, do you, what do you guys do? Kids resort to uh, getting a generator, a light, and a keg. Plan, get 300 kids out there in the middle of these canyons in the desert, and a bunch of dust, a big dust bowl. Play. It sounds like a lot more fun. I mean, it's it's playing at a club, to be real honest. It's the best club in the world. And is that where you guys kind of got a lot of your? Uh, that's exactly where we started. Out? Yeah, that's, that's cool. Where we started because a lot of the times uh, bands get formed, they go right into the studio and get all this production. They don't really know about live, and you guys start out playing live. In the best that's, place so that's, in the world. That's what it's all about. Now, for the people that don't know too much about Caius, tell me a little bit about where you guys are coming from, because I know you've got a real '70s influence, or it sounds like it does. Well, I'll tell you what, we're. We're a product of our environment, you know, the desert. It's really beautiful out there. It's very inspiring. And the way the way we write, you know, the band is just it's desert. You know, it's, that's all it is. Desert music. So it's organic. You know, excited about getting out on the road? Hell yeah. yeah, it's it's always fun to get out there and play. Hey, know? well good luck. Remember they're playing with Faith No More, so when Faith No More is your town, make sure Caius is on the show, and if they are, make sure that you show up real, real early. And we'll be back with more Headbangers Ball in just a bit, so stick around. Nobody's seen this for a hundred years.